daughter offshore from a, a city in Turkey. We'll get the details in just a minute. In the middle of the night, 2, 3, 4 a.m., I guess. And this object appeared over a period of weeks, and I guess months off and on, and was videotaped a number of times by someone living in a, a, a high-rise building of some kind, apartments, condominiums, not sure what, maybe even a hotel. But the video of this craft was so eerie, obviously a machine, obviously under intelligent control, even though it was pretty much parked where it was, what I saw just had me where I couldn't stop watching it. It was haunting, it was eerie, it was it was it was stunning. And it was real. And it is real. Now it didn't just show up once, it apparently showed up a number of times over a period of years, but we're going to find out the, the whole story now with a, a very special friend of mine for a long, long time. Uh, a man who is a, a pillar in the UFO research community, Dr. Roger Lear, who has done more than his share to help bring the truth from the shadows out into the light. And we're very honored to have uh, Roger back. I'm especially uh, grateful to spend some time with this man who has been, again, a friend for a long time. Roger, welcome back to the program. Well, thank you, Jeff. It's uh, good to be with you once again. Yeah. This is, uh, this is a big story. and. What what's really amazing about it is the clarity of the images, and doubly that the fact you were there. Now I don't know how that works, but you're gonna have to tell us. You were there for three years. I.
Live, this is One for the Record, I'm Diana, and today is August 28th, 2013, and here are your news updates for today. Let's first go into the Extinction Protocol 2012 and beyond. Black Death Returns, one dead in Kyrgyzstan, three ill, 131 quarantined. Fear rampant. Heads up! Showdown looms military strikes on Syria likely days away, warns U.S. officials. Heads up on that. Alrighty then. I'm not going to mention any more of this other, this other stuff going on. Let's see what else. The Watchers watching the world. Now, heads up. Waters of southeast Florida covered in fluorescent green slime of toxic algae. Now, it's fluorescent. Massive outbreak of toxic algae is reported at Florida's southeastern coast, St. Lucie River, its estuary, and the Indian River Lagoon are slimed with fluorescent green toxic algae that grow on excess sewage, manure, and fertilizer runoff released locally and from Lake Okeechobee. Okeechobee. <laughs> Health officials warn people not to touch the water or risk infection. Exposure to algae toxins. When people drink the water, touch it, or inhale vapors from it, can cause rashes, skin and eye irritation, allergic reactions, gastrointestinal upset, liver damage, serious illness, and even death. So heads up, it's almost the same symptoms as uh, radiation poisoning, isn't it? Just stay away from, don't go by the water. You see something green in the water, step away from the water. Don't even go up to it to look. Stay away from the water. It's on the rocks. Later on, if I can get a picture of it for you, I will. But it's all over the rocks, the sand, on the edges of where the water is. It's weird looking and it's glowing a lime green looking color to me. Also, storm brings rare snowfall to Atacama Desert, cuts of high altitude community in Peru. I said that yesterday. Alrighty then. Moving on. E and E news, the energy news. Today, Fukushima. Underground water just four inches from surface by Fukushima reactor. AP groundwater closer to surface than TEPCO told officials investigating tank leak. Why is anyone listening to TEPCO? They're still, once they lie once, they're incompetent. You can't trust them. Why, what is really going on to even, for them to even be in control anymore? Alrighty then. Also today, popular mechanics. Contaminated water threatens to swamp Fukushima's site as it rises to surface radioactive liquid will continue entering ocean despite attempts to block it. Also today, let's move down here. Big problem. Cracked floors in Fukushima reactors leaking into groundwater. That's rising and rising and rising due to TEPCO wall. Can no longer be stopped from getting in ocean. Worse than that, buildings now on mushy land. Oh my goodness. 
let's move on now to here we go US Canada my goodness let's go while we wait okay it's loading slowly it was showing excuse me it's showing a graph of the tank water leak oh. here we go today UPI US Canada Fukushima plume to reach US west coast in months measurable increase in radioactive material study prolonged exposure for California lasting 10 years hits Hawaii hits Hawaii early 2014 may already be surrounded probably if, if it's going to hit the west coast in months it's, I thought some of the stuff already did come in heads up in Hawaii oh my goodness Gunderson yesterday radioactive plume to impact west coast in a year not going away after it hits likely to only get stronger Fukushima will keep releasing contamination for years to come must demand officials test fish and make data public uh oh can't control that can I alrighty then uh, we'll just let that go alrighty well, we are live, and I can't control anything here. All right, so it's Wednesday hump day, and everybody, please be safe. Everyone be safe. Be ready for anything. Don't know what's going on. We might be going into World War III. So all I can say about all this is just be prepared. That's all you can do. Make sure you have plenty of water. Make sure. Okay, let's say we get we do get hit with EMP. Remember, if all the power goes out, it's not just that the the water the the the, the water pumps are, are most likely going to stop. But what happens then is that the sewage starts backing up. So I want you to be prepared for that. Also, it's a good idea to have some t duct tape. Make sure you guys have duct tape. Uh, the big jumbo plastic bags that you can actually, the giant black bags, they can be used for all types of situation. All types. And uh, just make sure you have everything in order like you know your go bag if you need it you have a go bag for you and your pets make sure you got the same thing going on a spare set of something in your car in case you're at work when something bad happens if anything happens anything could happen and uh plenty of canned food for you and your pets and uh just make sure you're ready for anything now. Make sure you have a hard copy of everyone's phone number in your phone. Let's say the phone goes out, gets knocked down. Have a paper list of everything that's in your phone. That's very important. Hey, you drop your phone in the toilet, you drop it down on the ground that's wet when it's raining, it gets wet. There goes all your information. Don't keep it up just electronically you got important phone numbers copy them into like a notebook and just you know put it away put the date on it and then that way you know like at least I do that once a year should do it more often than that I'll take all my information and sit there for hours in front of maybe the computer or in between doing things and take everything out of the phone you know put everyone's uh, important information transfer it onto a hard a hard copy alright so you have it with you if you need it alrighty then I'll see you again tomorrow on the flip side stay safe and be prepared 
and then don't worry about it and go have fun. Just just have a more of a high level of a, of awareness, that's all. All right. Take care and stay tuned. I'll add some more crypto stuff for you. Alrighty then.